Good day. I am John Vinjeri Panyaros, a math major teacher. And today, I'm going to present to you my math lesson for junior high school. And this is my lesson plan. Have you ever asked yourself why PBA star players are good in free throws? How do Angry Bird expert players hit their targets? Do you know the secret key in playing this game? Today, I'm going to introduce to you the quadratic function. In this lesson, we have the following objectives. Model real-life situation using quadratic functions. Differentiate quadratic function from linear functions. Describe quadratic function and its application to real life. And appreciate real-life models showing quadratic functions. We have two ways to differentiate quadratic function from linear function. First, by looking at its graph. The first picture, it is a quadratic function. The graph has curved line. The second picture, it is a linear function. The graph has straight line. The next way to differentiate quadratic function from linear is by using its standard forms. The third picture, we have the standard form of y equals mx plus b. Look at the first term. With variable x, we have the exponent to 1. Therefore, it is linear. For quadratic function, we have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. For the first term, with variable x, we have the exponent 2. Therefore, it is quadratic. Remember, we have two ways to differentiate quadratic function from linear function. First, by using its graphs. And second, we have standard forms. We can see around quadratic function and we can appreciate this by looking and considering quadratic function models, just like this fountain. The water bends as it reaches on the top and falls on the ground. It shows a curved line. And this picture is a model of a quadratic function. Just like this bridge, it has curved lines. It is a model of quadratic function. And you can appreciate things by seeing around. This time, let's try to apply on its problem. Consider a rectangle whose width is x plus 2 centimeters and whose length is x plus 5 centimeters. Now the question is, how do you find the area of this rectangle? We have the area of a rectangle. Length times width. Okay, now this time let's put a length x plus 5 and the width we have x plus 2. Let's try to solve this. For length we have x plus 5 times width x plus 2. The next process we use the whole method. X times X, we have X squared. X times positive 2, we have positive 2X. Uh, positive 5 times X, we have positive 5X. Positive 5 times positive 2, we have positive 10. And we can have the solution of X squared plus 7X plus the solution is an example of quadratic function. The first term has an exponent of 2. 
it is quadratic function. Now, how does quadratic function differ from that linear function? Remember, we have two ways. Using the graph and the standard form. It can be argued that the mathematics behind these images is even prettier than the pictures themselves. This time, let's try to tell whether the following functions are quadratic functions or not. Write Q for quadratic and N for not quadratic. For the first function, we have 2 times x minus 6 raised to 2 plus 1. Remember, using its standard form, this part is already a quadratic function. The exponent is 2. This is quadratic. But to solve that, to enlighten more, we have 2 times x minus 6 times x minus 6 plus 1. And we use the FOIL method again. We have x times x, x squared, x times negative 6, we have negative 6x, negative 6 times x, we have negative 6x, negative 6 times negative 6, we have positive 36 plus 1. And let's try to solve this again. 2 times x squared, we have 2x squared. This is negative 12. So 2 times negative 12, that is negative 24x. 2 times positive 36, we have positive 72 plus 1. And the final solution, we have 2x squared minus 24x plus 73. This equation or function shows a quadratic function. The exponent is 2. The second function, remember the linear function? We have the first term, only 1. Then it's not quadratic. The third function, the second term, negative 4x squared. The exponent is 2. Therefore, it is quadratic. The fourth function, the first term, we have the exponent 2. Therefore, it is quadratic again. And the last function, this is a linear function. And therefore, it is not quadratic. So, if you understand more about quadratic function, you can collect pictures, models of quadratic function that you can see around us. Simple as that. If you have any questions, you are free to ask me. Thank you for having fun learning with me. Have a great day.